Have you ever wondered what happened to those sentry mode videos from my Tesla? Who watches them? And uh, a lot of times it's everybody when you post it on social media, like this clip right here. Check out, this is one of the latest ones. This lady just bluntly scratches this perfectly good Tesla. Um, and there are tons and tons of videos like this. Obviously, people don't know that Teslas have that ability right now. Obviously, they haven't been subscribing to my channel to find that out or even watch this uh, educational uh, video from Tesla, uh, where it's obviously if you are a cookie monster, it is a really bad idea to break into a brand new Tesla because you know you'll be subjected to some uh, uh, classical music, and you know who wants who wants who wants that? And of course, then the whole cops showing up and arresting you thing, and that 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 kind of goes without selling. By the way, obviously this guy's amateur; he doesn't know how to get into a Tesla. That's not a way to do it. This is the way to do it, like everybody else. And by the way, true story. This is this is my Tesla from from a few years ago. And granted, yes, I know I have parked uh, it's on, on the dark parking lot at night in Oakland, California. So uh, yeah, and I did catch the footage. I do have a footage uh, from a dash cam of. Uh, whoever did it uh, and there's a video that I made about it and say, you know about how to avoid this from happening so more reasons to subscribe to this channel uh, and this this has gotten so bad that uh, with, with the whole sentry mode and all these videos popping up that even some very busy youtubers have to go on uh, local television stations and and explain to people uh, how the sentry mode works and why you should not uh, be uh, keen Teslas and hopefully no cars at all. And uh, you know this this is coming to other cars. My Chevy Volt has a dash cam that runs all the time, so um, kind of the same deal. Uh, now I should probably yeah, yeah, let, let's let's get back to the topic here. Really, like what happens to this footage? Uh, because we know that uh, uh, once. Uh, once Tesla allowed everybody to use their cameras to record uh, to record whatever happens with the car, whether the driver is there or not, something that everyone's been kind of begging them to do for, for years, they finally did it. So we know that Tesla keeps those clips to kind of figure out, uh, you know, especially help their autopilot program. Uh, and, but they haven't been attached to any type of uh, uh, records or vehicle records. Well, it looks like things have changed and, and it's it's a bit of a concern. Now, I do have to say that uh, it, it is only happens now. It looks like Tesla keeps uh, these videos uh, for 72 first hours attached to a vehicle record and therefore your record if you're a Tesla owner. But it only happens when a real alarm is triggered. Now, obviously, there is a concern here. Uh, but also a big advantage, I believe. So let's talk about it because I don't know if you know that if, if those people who know about this, uh, the, the thieves who get into these cars, it is extremely easy for them to completely nuke the footage that you have of them and essentially literally take it with them. So let's talk about it before a quick announcement. I am uh, proud to announce that I am now a brand ambassador for uh, Los Angeles Auto Show, one of the biggest uh, uh, auto shows in the world in Automobility LA. So I will be there this year as well. Uh, check it out. There will be videos about that. Uh, so yeah, kind of a big deal. I've always liked that show. So it's great to work with them and promote electric cars there. And of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV called Ambyte coming to the US, coming to Europe. Uh, 45,000 American dollars or so, 45,000 euros before incentives. And zero dollars and euros to reserve one about a minute of your time really so join myself and over 50,000 other people who've done so go to the description of this video and reserve your Python today all right so uh, let's talk about okay let's let this this is emotional trauma for me so let me go back to this image. now uh, let's talk about the pros and cons here now uh, you know the concern here is that uh, if Tesla gets to keep this footage um, and it's attached to your record, then, well, first of all, I, I'm not sure if some of you want Tesla employees watching whatever it is that, that, that's that been captured. And, you know, I can see how some things that you do in your garage that can trigger with your car, that can trigger in sentry mode. I, listen, I'm just saying that it's possibly could be stuff you don't want them to see but obviously you know companies get hacked all the time and 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 this could happen where where your records that are that are attached to 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 your cameras get exposed or whatever and you know we, we, we know why this is a concern and by the way there was a there was stories going on with uh, ring.com a while back where um, people were saying uh, there were some reports that the employees could actually attach the videos and watch live videos uh, attached to the customer records, you know, this can get really ugly. And I totally get that. But at the same time, here's the reason why 
I feel like this is absolutely necessary. And if I still was a Tesla owner, I would absolutely want them to uh, to do this because here's how this works. And this works with pretty much the same way with dash cams. But with Tesla, you know, when you want the sentry mode on, you have to get a USB drive, or you like this little thumb drive, plug it in, and that's where everything gets recorded. Now, don't forget, if I am a thief who knows how this works, I'm gonna get into the car and not only steal your purse, your laptop, and you know your dignity essentially, but also I'm gonna take this thumb drive and there goes all the footage of me, you know, breaking into your car. So, you know, things are gonna, things are good. People are gonna catch up, catch on on this. So, if the only way for for the thief to know that hey whatever happens i'm going to get caught on camera and the owner definitely will have the footage is to put it in the cloud and that's what tesla's been doing so the fact that you know if something happens and they steal this from you uh you can you can contact tesla and say hey listen you guys got the only footage of the crime and i guess i'm sure there are laws that would kind of require them to keep it at that point then you can still get the footage so yes privacy concerns but without it yeah, I, I don't really even see how this is uh, how this is even a thing. Now again, don't forget this is not just Tesla. I, in my vault, I have a um, I have a dash cam. I have dual ones front and back, and uh, the concern is exactly the same because if somebody gets in and they know I'm running a dash cam, they can just pop in the little uh, uh, little um, memory card or just yank the whole damn thing. You know, it's, it's worth money, right? Um, so cloud, you know, back it up in the cloud, just like with everything else is the way to go. Let me know what you think about it. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter if you haven't already. And the link is in the description of this video, but uh, essentially you get the bonus story at the end of each week. Uh, we have a great writer, AJ, that will uh, write it up uh, for you and boom, it's in your inbox. Uh, something that we just don't have enough time uh, uh, to cover on this channel or even our website, eforelectric.com. So go to eforelectric.com slash VIP to sign up for the newsletter today. All right, looking forward to, to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.